I'm going to show you how to use the effective access feature to see what permissions specific users and groups have to Active Directory objects. So to start, I'm going to open up Active Directory users and computers, and then navigate to the OU or the object that I want to check. In this case, I want to check my users OU to see what permissions users have over this OU. So we can right click the OU and go to properties and then security and then advanced. And then we can either check the permissions tab but if you've got a lot of permissions, it can be hard to identify what users actually have. So if we come to the effective access tab in here, we can then select a user and then either enter a user or a security group. So in this instance, I want to enter the help desk security group. And then when we click view effective access, this will tell us the exact permissions that anyone within this security group will get over this OU. So we can see that they can view all of the contents of the OU and then read all of the properties, but they don't have many other write permissions. And then if we scroll down, we can see at an attribute level, what attributes that they can view and that they can read most of them, but they can't do any writing to them. Now, if I wanted to compare this against another one, what I could do is just click select user and then enter another security group or another user. So in this case, I'll just do the assist for the system administrators security group. And then again, click view effective access and we can see that the permissions change and there are more green ticks in this one because this security group gives more access. It doesn't just have to be security groups. We can do this with specific users. So if I wanted to check what permissions a specific user has, I can enter the user and then click OK and then click View Effective Access. And now I can see exactly what this user account can do over this organizational unit. It's not just OUs that you can do this over. You can do this over specific objects. So again, I can select an object and go to properties and then come to security and then advanced effective access. And then I can just enter a user or a group. So I'll do the system administrators, view effective access. And then I can see what our security group gives over this object. So that's how to use the effective access feature to see what permissions specific users and groups have over specific Active Directory objects.